String comparison methods are useful for comparing strings and those include the equals method that returns true if two strings are equal and this is case sensitive. There's the equals ignore case method which returns true if two strings are equal ignoring the case. There's the compare to method which compares two strings and returns an integer zero if they're equal. A positive number if this calling string is greater than the parameter string or a negative number if the calling string is less than the calling string. And the compare to ignore case is just like the compare to but it ignores the case. So let's try out some examples of these string comparison methods. So let's create a couple strings. String name assigned to Bob string name two also Bob. So there's two Bobs. Let's call it name one and name two. And let's compare them. And you should not compare strings using the double equal sign, by the way, because you you don't want to compare objects using the equal equal sign because you're only really comparing their memory address location. However, it does work for string, but you still shouldn't do it because it's a bad habit to do that. And you should compare strings using the equals method. And we can do that by saying if name one dot equals parentheses pass name two to it. And if they're equal, and print out system dot out dot print line, the names are equal. Else say that they're not equal. So do these names look equal to you? They I think they are and it prints out that they're equal. But if one of the bobs was lowercase bob, then are these equal or not equal? Well, let's find out. Let's run the program and it says that they're not equal because Java is case sensitive. I'm going to redo this by typing name1.equals ignore case. Now let's compare Bob and lowercase Bob and it says that the names are equal because equals ignore case that is case insensitive and doesn't care if the two Bobs are upper or lowercase. Even if Bob was all capital letters and lowercase Bob was all lowercase letters, name one and name two are still equal. In a real world example, maybe if you were comparing a username and password, you'd probably use the equals ignore case for the username because that doesn't really matter if they use upper or lower case but for the password you probably use the equals method because passwords are usually case sensitive. Let's try out the compare two methods. Let's create another string called string name three and we'll call this David. So we have Bob, Bob, and David. Okay, so now let's compare them using the compare two methods. If name two dot compare to name three, it's going to give you an error because this method returns an integer, either a positive number, negative number, or zero. So what we could do is we could check if, if it's equal to zero then we could say that they're equal. The names are equal. Else if, let me copy this code again and paste this right here. Name two compared to name three is greater than zero. Then we could say system dot out dot print line name two plus is greater than name three. And also if it gives us a negative number that'll be the else part and we could say that name two is less than name three. And let's comment out this code so that it doesn't interfere with our output. The control forward slash. And let's run this program now and it says that Bob is less than David. So alphabetically it's true that Bob is less than David so we could see how this works. What about Comparing Bob, capital Bob with lowercase Bob. Let's compare that. Let's change name 
two and three to names one and two again. Gonna rename these variables and see what happens. All right, so let's run the program now. Now we're comparing capital Bob with lowercase Bob. It's not equal, but uppercase Bob is less than lowercase Bob. So capital letters come first, but they're not equal. But if we use the compared to ignore case, let's make this consistent. Now it tells you that the names are equal because it returns the number zero and we can determine that these names are equal. So you would typically use the compare to methods when you're trying to sort a bunch of strings to see which comes first alphabetically.